Gift Everything. I'm 17 and I live between Brazil and Europe. Uh, I'm currently in Trifa with my family. I'm very close to my parents and my brothers. Uh, I travel, I compete and I train with my older brother, so we are very close. And my dad is my kite coach. Last month I've changed a lot. I felt the need to be more alone with myself. When I'm alone, I feel more focused. My goals are more clear and I work better towards them. Winning a world title is an indescribable feeling. You feel on the top of the world, but it's also an addictive feeling. As soon as I won my first world title, I wanted to win my second one and I was thinking about the way I was gonna get there. And then six months later, I won my second world title. After winning my two world titles, I had six months of crazy life. Training in the gnarliest conditions, chasing the strongest winds and huge waves, discovering new locations and keeping up with high school. All right, just registered. It's on for tomorrow. We're going to have the riders briefing in around 30 minutes and then hopefully we can compete tomorrow. Let's hope for some good conditions and some strong winds. Bah, le risque, c'est que tu aurais toujours du vent dans ton... Je pense que tu aurais toujours du vent dans ton kite, mais ton risque, c'est que tu n'es plus... plus devant sous les pieds, en fait. Ouais. Yeah, so it's... the wind is still on and off. Uh, they're trying to run the women now. They did a couple of hits, but uh, it wasn't enough to continue. So now we're waiting, uh, waiting for the wind to get a little bit stronger, and hopefully they can run the women, and hopefully they can run a couple of hits of the man. But I don't know, the forecast doesn't look so good. So yeah, well, now we're just waiting, and uh, we'll cross for some better conditions. Being second in the world is amazing, but it's not what I wanted. The hardest part is just after the heat, when it's raw and it hurts. All you want to do is hide, but you have to go on the podium. You put your sunglasses, a cap, a smile on your face, and you're ready for the pictures. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel really good to not get the title. Um, I had really my eyes on it, and it's hard to accept. But it will pass and it gives me even more motivation to train harder so I never feel this way again. Good morning. Hey. Good. Yourself? Good. A little bit better. Yeah. It's a lot to digest, uh, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. When you go into an ice bath, you put your body uh, at will in a stressful situation and basically you can also compare it when you put yourself into a competition. What I want to do now with you is go through a little bit of this bread work so you you do it before you in the ice bath and then when you're in the ice bath it comes more naturally. We're gonna do like a sort of a meditation mm -hmm. to, to get you into this into this moment and then uh, after that we, we're going for the ice bath. Five minutes. 
Nice, elle est complètement addicte à la victoire, elle est très, elle est très compétitrice, c'est-à-dire que euh, pour elle, une seconde place, elle considère ça comme un échec. Elle, elle est autant compétitrice en, en compétition, en kitesurf, qu'elle euh, peut l'être euh, dans ses études. La seule chose qu'elle veut, c'est euh, la victoire. Et euh, elle sait être complètement focus et, et se remettre en question euh, euh, très rapidement, rebondir en cas d'échec et tout de suite euh, retourner à l'ouvrage et, et s'entraîner euh, encore et encore. I had my eyes on this world title, but it slipped through my fingers. Um, I've been processing it and I can now see the positive side. I've talked to a few world champions about it and they all told me this will make me stronger. Last time I felt like this, I won two world titles the next year. I am now more motivated than ever. You know, it, this, is, this is a very special, I think, brother-sister relationship. You can see these two are always uh, hanging out together, riding together, learning from each other, pushing each other. every day. I think when you win a world title you're the best but for maybe one day. Then on the next day someone else is going in the water to train and beat you. So you can never really think you're the best. I'm always asking myself questions like am I good enough? Am I training hard enough? And it's a constant challenge but that's also why I do it because I think it pushes me to be better. is to continue competing at the top and pushing the limits of women in strapless. I hope to inspire girls to do the same and I see you soon on the water.